John, every time I talk to you, it's about another project, something new. You're busy, which is a great thing. Songland. Yes. Take me back to the beginning. How did this happen? How did you get involved? Well, you know, I'm a guest on Songland, and every episode will have a different artist come in, and uh, they'll be listening to new songs by unknown songwriters okay. who are pitching the songs to us. So as a guest on the show, um, all I'm doing is coming in and listening to great songs and giving my feedback and, and then picking a song that I want to record. And so really what is cool about this idea is that it gives everybody kind of a window into our process. Yeah. We're going to collaborate with the songwriters. Um, even if the song comes in pretty good, we'll still work with them to get it to where we want it to be. Right. So it's something that I would record. And uh, what's great about the show is you get a window into the process that I don't think has ever really been shown on television before, where you get to see the process of people honing a song, editing it, uh, throwing out an idea, and then uh, putting in a new idea. And uh, we've never really seen that on television, so I think it's pretty exciting for people to, to watch. We always see the forefront, the singer. Mm -hmm. This is the person that's singing it. Yeah. This is the person that what they're doing. I think it's great because just people who don't know music and even ones that love it mm -hmm. are going to be like, this is a very difficult thing to do because there's a lot of emotion into it. The yeah. most great songwriters have written some of the songs that you don't even know about. Yeah. There's so, so it's cool. Well, there's so many songs we, uh, first of all, there's a lot of songs no one knows about because we don't put them out. And so a lot of it's the kind of... Uh, iterative process of, hmm, is this idea going to work? Um, maybe I need to scrap it and try something new. Well, you're going to see a lot of that process on television. And I'm both a singer and a songwriter, so it's fun for me to collaborate with other songwriters um, if they come in with a great idea, but I want to fix this or change this or make it more my own. Um, there's a lot of leeway in this process for me to do that. And this is a thing that happens for us all the time when we're making records, but most people in the public don't get to see that. Yeah. And uh, I think it's fun for Songland to show that process. You're like, we recorded 100 songs, yeah. but only 10 are making the album, and we're yeah. not sure it's going to be the ones we actually like. Yeah. It's for the public, right? Most well, no, time. I have to love it. I, I never... See, okay, I was going to ask yeah. you. There's not going to be a song, because you will be performing, yeah. right, yeah. these songs. You cannot perform something that doesn't come from here, right? I have to love it. Okay. You know, I have to be excited to sing it. I have to love the song. And um, I figure if you record enough songs, um, there's no reason you should put... Uh, anything on the album that you don't love. Right. Take me back to the studio with you or even present day. Is there that moment that kind of solidified solidified you as a writer, as an artist to say, this was the best moment for me in the studio? Or is there a moment that was actually a little rough for you as a writer in the studio? Well, I think um, I've been growing as a songwriter since I was young. I started writing when I was really young um, because I was singing a lot and I would want to find I would want to script my own songs, basically. Uh, I would be out there performing in church or in school, and I would want to write my own stuff. Um, I would also cover artists that I loved, but I always wanted to write my own stuff. And so I've been writing for a long time, but I think part of the process of discovering your own voice, um, discovering uh, how to uh, write for who you are and what your voice sounds like, um, that's a process that you have to keep developing, you know? And I started to figure it out kind of in my late teens, early 20s, where I was like, oh, okay, these are the kind of songs I want to write. These are the kind of songs that feel good for me. And right around then was when I was writing the songs for Get Lifted, my first album. Yeah. When you have something like that and you know you're, you know, you've got a great catalog of work, you still have it coming out. What's that one thing you're looking for someone besides, obviously, it coming from the heart, but is there something you're looking for in a certain person when they're writing? Well, it's not really about the person, it's about the song. And a lot of times, um, I'll write with quite a wide, wide range of types of people, um, because if we get in the room and we just bounce ideas off of each other, who knows what we'll come up with. And I figure if I'm the constant, uh, then I know it'll be at least close to who I am. But uh, the different songwriters are like the wild card in the situation, and they could bring a different energy that I might not bring, and that's exciting for me, it's fun. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now.